Um, I'm Ron Harmel, and I was born and bred out back in the country in Victoria on a farm. And when I was in grade six, I said I wanted to go to high school. My father said, you're mad, you're going to be a farmer. And the school teachers always said, Harmel, your English is awful, don't ever try and write a book. So at some point in my life, I thought, I'm going to try this. So back in the end, when I got to my 20s, I decided I was going to start writing. And I've been writing a lot ever since, and uh, I've been writing uh, theological work, spiritual works, economic, economical, yeah, eco ecological, sorry, ecological things, and all kinds of works. And especially reinterpreting the Bible from the point of view of ecology, or from another point of view than simply the traditional point of view. So uh, I'm, I'm now retired, but I still keep, still keep writing in one way or another. It turns out that Prohart was trying to say, what would Jesus be like? Or what would Christmas be like if it happened in Australia rather than in Palestine? And artists around the world for centuries have been portraying Jesus and the story of Christ and Christmas from the culture where they lived, whether it was Europe or Africa or Papua New Guinea. Anyway, he started working on this and he said, was there any other bloke who might be able to write something that would correspond to my paintings? Turns out that they somehow found me and I was absolutely delighted because I'm very fascinated how you try and reorganize and rewrite the, the tradition uh, from the point of view of a particular culture where you happen to live. And this is outback culture, country culture in Australia. And so we got together and Pro Art and I hit it like a house on fire and we wrote this book and then later on we did another one called A Bloke Called Jesus, which is the Gospel of John according to Australian traditions and story and culture. But our back Christmas is, is especially um, colourful in that it portrays the world of a country pub. And if you like, I'll read just a few lines from one of them. Yeah. Can I? Yeah, yeah. These are some lines from uh, the Bethlehem pub. A country pub is not a proper place for women, the last place on earth to try and have a kid. So when Mary and her tired old man arrived that night, I rustled up a bed of straw out in the shed. The pub in Bethlehem is rough as horned head toads, and what I've seen would turn a shearer green and white, like the time young Bill fought blue the old band kangaroo till beer, blood and fur flowed down the street. At first I also wondered if Mary's child belonged out here. He may as well be born among the boggles or shout back. Yet Mary seemed a sister to all who found her in the shed. And Jesus seemed a brother to drinkers, drovers, blacks. Outback Christmas is not just a book. It's been performed as a, as a show at all kinds of places in many churches and many places over the years and people portray the stories and the characters the way they are in the book and it's quite colourful and quite exciting <laughs> to hear the Australian store version of, of Christmas in the Outback. Yeah.